Hello there. So I watched the Disney Plus show Mandalorian. And to those who haven't watched the show, let me clear it for you. This show has only eight episodes, and its total runtime is only about five and a half hours. Now the show is really good, even great at times. So this is a spoiler warning to those who haven't watched the show. I really, really, really urge you to watch this show. It's it's worth your time. Okay, so how was Mandalorian? Well, I loved it. There are a few weird episodes and is not perfect, but really, it's great. <laughs> what makes it great? The cast. The cast is weirdly great. There are unexpected choices, but shockingly, they really made you feel for their character despite their short knowledge of their backstory, which isn't a problem. We'll explore it in the next season. But we get enough backstory to understand them and where they're coming from. Carl Weathers brings the charm and energy to his character Grief Karga, who goes through a change of heart. Gina Carano plays Cara Dune with a sense of toughness and companionship, and Baby Yoda, the cutest little thing on this entire universe. But my favorite performance of the whole show is Pedro Pascal's Mandalorian. He is a tough guy on the outside, but a softy on the inside. The reason his performance is fantastic is because it's the hardest. So the reason it's hard is because you can't see his face, right? Yet he makes you feel for his character with no facial emotion shown. That's incredibly hard. He has an arc. So Mando despises droids, right? Because several droids killed his parents. He has to grow out of that. In the final episode, the IG-11 droid, who was first assigned to kill Baby Yoda, is now its protector and sacrifices itself to protect our heroes. And Mando didn't want him to go, which made him trust a droid. This is when he puts his personal differences aside and learns that droids can change, change like us, us human beings. He learns that droids can also be human. Practical effects. In this day and age where several high budget action blockbusters always use CGI and visual effects, it is certainly refreshing to see practical effects used. Tangibility helps you really feel those things there. Star Wars is known to have spectacular special effects, but also phenomenal practical effects, which makes it look more realistic. Their puppets and suits look so weird and cool, it felt Star Wars to me. Now a few episodes were filler and I enjoyed it. It felt a little weak and didn't serve much of a purpose. Mainly episode 5, The Gunslinger. But several of those sets looked dirty and gritty which grounded us into the several planets we visit. The score. The score. It's, it's masterful. It's perfect for the show. If you're wondering, the composer of the show is Ludwig Göransson, who also composed Black Panther and won an Oscar for that, so I'm pretty sure you have an idea of how good he is by now. The god of composing, John Williams, composed the Star Wars scores and is truly phenomenal, but shockingly, Ludwig's score is the only memorable Star Wars score besides John Williams. I found myself humming the beats. It's, it's really great. The Pitch the reason I love this show is because it is one narrative vision of a storyteller. This show is created by Jon Favreau and I love that. If you're wondering who he is and where you might have seen this guy, he directed the first two Iron Man films, Jungle Book remake, The Lion King remake and plays Happy Hogan in Marvel. I'm a huge fan of his work now. Several directors get to direct these episodes. But the idea of The Mandalorian was pitched to the studio by Jon Favreau and I love that. He is basically the Kevin Feige of Lucasfilm now. The pitch of this show is perfect, a Star Wars show with a sci-fi western approach which is new and weird in a good way. Favreau puts his focus on the characters, no matter what, because if you fail at character, you're doomed. One example of this is Mando and Baby Yoda. Well, they both could have just been flat characters, but Favreau chooses to explore a father-son relationship between them, which humanizes Mando and makes him more intimate and personal. I like that Mando isn't always a badass, but sometimes he is vulnerable too and can get beat. Even the visuals look really beautiful. So yeah, this show is worth your time, as it has great heartful characters and entertains you all the way. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hey there, so since I'm talking about Star Wars again, you can check out the Star Wars playlist where I talk about the rise of Skywalker and the character arc of Ben Solo. George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars, had received a lot of hate from making the prequel movies especially, which aren't, which a lot of people aren't a huge fan of. Some people are, but some most of the people aren't. And I would like to tell those people that uh, I get your argument, but he's the creator of Star Wars. I think you need to acknowledge that, because if you don't, well, that sucks, man. I mean, he created 
Star Wars. This wouldn't exist without him. It was all created in his mind. And I feel like he did a really great job making A New Hope. It's one of the best Star Wars films ever. And so, yeah, thank you so much for watching and like the video, share it so that a lot of people can watch my channel and also subscribe if you haven't already. We have hit 81 subscribers as of yet and I would love it if we could reach 100 subscribers for now. And until next time, I will see you later. Stay home and stay safe.